Danielle here. Today we are going to be setting up my Traveler's Notebook Foxy Fix B6. Um, I threw some papers in here when I first got it from like Planner Society and things I had, but then I went out and bought some really nice paper that's totally my style and super fun. So we're gonna redecorate this thing and make it very me. Let's go ahead and get started by just taking everything out of this planner that I currently have. I already cleared out the inside pockets, so we just have to pull out all of the inserts. If you aren't familiar with Traveler's Notebooks at all, it works on a rubber band system, so you can put in and take out whatever you want. That's why it's really fun. It's super customizable. And you can have whatever kind of inserts that you want and anything like that. Oh, here's my jump band. So now I have all five of my inserts. This one's probably gonna stay the same, and so is this one, just because I like that vellum, but what we're gonna change is these two dashboards and probably like the front of these and maybe add a couple other different journaling cards as well. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off of the front here. Oh, I stuck this on with normal tape, not washi tape, which is like risky behavior right there. It didn't mess anything up, so we're good. We're good with that. Let's put that over to the side. So it's just plain now. And I can take basically like all my notebooks and set them off to the side. I think I'm gonna keep this vellum too. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that wrapped around the notebook that it came from. Okay, notebooks are done, or good for now. Let's just set them off to the side. Traveler's notebook can be set off to the side. So now I've got the two things we really care about, these two dashboards right here. None of the papers that I bought today are double-sided, so we'll have to at least be using four sheets of paper for every single dashboard, which I think will be plenty and perfectly decorated enough for me. I like the way that I cut this one. I feel like it's like the perfect size. Um, some of you, it might bother you that like you can see this clear edge right here, but I, it bothers me more to have paper stick out and get caught on things. So I'm gonna trim all of my paper to the same size as what I have this stack right here because I like the way that these ones were cut. Just so you guys know, um, I will be saving all these in case I wanna use them again in the future, especially like the acetate and the uh, neutral colors like this. They'll be saved and thrown into my stash so some other day I can use them. foremost we're definitely using this single sheet of pizza paper I got today at Michael's it's just funny and I don't know it's just funny and I'm feeling a funny goofy mood right now so let's go ahead and chop that to size because that's definitely going in there awesome pizza paper is cut <laughs> set that off Put the scraps somewhere to use for something different. Now I've got this big bind or big stack of this paper from Michaels. I hate the little tape things they put on them. I don't even know why. Okay, so now we need to pick out our magical paper from this Stay Magical set from Michaels. I got this. If you didn't see my vlog haul of this when I went to Michael's the other day, I got this for 70% off. And so it was normally like 20 bucks and I got it for super cheap and I'm so excited. All the paper is like happy unicorns and rainbows and mermaids and pretty colors and stars. So I have a few, oh my gosh, I didn't even see this one. No, I'm not using that now. I gotta save that for something else. I have a few that I know I wanna use, so let's, Let's find those. I'm pretty sure I want to use stars, but I think that there's, yeah, there's blue stars back here. Ooh, which ones do I want to use? Let's, okay, let's use the pink stars. So let's pull out this piece of paper. These journaling cards, well, they're not journaling cards, but again, can be cut into journaling cards, are really cool. I think I like the unicorn and the stay magical. I might use those. Let me rip those out too. Oh, purple stars. I didn't know there were purple stars. Okay, ripping these out. <laughs> Might use purple stars instead. 
Definitely using rainbows. And this paper for sure. Oh, here's more rainbows. I don't know, I'm just ripping out all of my favorites. I'm probably gonna have too many to choose from, but that's okay. Oh, more journaling cards. Oh, this is so cool. It's a to-do list. I eat glitter for breakfast. Oh, okay, ripping these out. Let's keep going. This is getting ripped out. And then whatever I don't use, I'll just shove back in here. Okay, I think that's good. We've got a nice assortment from this book here of different ones that I might use. And now I just have to pick the actual ones I wanna use because I need, how many did I say? Eight, so I'll need eight pieces. So I have the pizza right here. This doesn't count, this is a journaling card. Oh wow, so I don't even have that many. If I used all of these, I still wouldn't have the eight that I kinda need for the setup. Unless, how big is like this journaling card here? Is it like basically the same size? Oh, it's a little short. I could put like a plain piece of paper and put this unicorn on it and that could count as one. Okay, okay, okay. Can you tell I get really excited about this? Let's go ahead and just chop everything up and make our stacks and then go from there. I think I got everything chopped up to about the same size. I have a few different cards here that I think I want to use. Everything is looking so fun and colorful. Let's throw it in some dashboards now. Trying to pick out what might be my favorite one to go in the front. I think it might be the Stay Magical and put it like on this purple just because I want the front to be a little bit more matchy-matchy. Let's go ahead and do this right here for my front dashboard. And again, I'm going to use washi tape because first off, it doesn't have to be stuck down very well. It's going to go into that little planner. So all I'm doing is that little bit of washi tape. I mean, it goes into that sleeve, so I don't have to have it like perfectly stuck because the sleeve will hold it in place. And then I can use the, since washi tape is removable, I can just take it out and we're done. So this will be the front side of my first dashboard on my first insert. Wonderful. And what should the inside be? Something cute? Or maybe something that's not super my favorite. Let's save this for that. Let's put these unicorns on the inside here. And then on the back side, we're going to do pizza and holographic, I think. And then when I put it in my planner and I change my mind, the good thing is I can change mind. <laughs> I can take them out and flip them around and start over. There, dashboard number one done. I know that there's a lot of planner peeps out there who like to put die cuts and everything all over. I don't really have any die cuts right now that I really like. Plus this paper, I don't know, I like it a little bit more plain with just this paper, so. Love this. Next dashboard. See, I need, I'm gonna need one more piece of paper. Hmm. Unless I just took like these bows. Ooh, that could look nice. Just plain white and maybe put like this. 
Yeah, does not look cute. Okay, okay. But then I also have this polka dot vellum. It's like silver on one side and rose gold on the other side. And I could put that somewhere and look really cute. Would it look like too much on the pizza? Or maybe like one of these needs some silver polka dots on it. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, that's going there. So we'll go ahead and do these. Which one? These ones will go back here in the back side. Ooh, that looks so cool. Okay, and then the front, we gotta tape these down. That's so cute, so cute, so cute. So let me make sure that there's nothing else I wanna go with this. I think I want to, like I said, put something on the front of this. So let's take a look at these journaling cards I cut up. I don't know why my camera just shut off, but it did. Don't know when it did, but <laughs> you guys didn't miss much, I don't think. Should we put this like, yeah, we'll put it right in the middle. Okay, I think that's good for now. Let's throw it in the planner and then decide what I want to change. Put this over here. So first things first is this little set. Cute, cute, cute. Magical. Oh, it's so cute. Very, very cute. I love it. It's super fun. This one kind of doesn't match, but I don't have any other vellum or paper that I want to use. Oh well. It's okay. These ones are the ones I don't go to very often. Maybe I should put something on this. Nah. Yeah. We are good. Let's, we gotta put something here though. Maybe we'll use a paper that we've already used. Like the pizza paper. I think we should use the pizza paper here. No, it's a little too much. Too much crazy. Oh, this is from previously. That would look nice because I just like having something here. I'm gonna shove other things in here. What are we shoving in here? Put this in here, the shaker card. Put this where it says like, find your rainbow. Maybe this one will go down here. This one can just like go up there. And then my animal clips for my pets. So cute. This picture of my fiance and I. We'll paper clip that on here. I don't know how I feel about this. This is like almost like too dull of colors. Maybe this won't go here. And if that doesn't go there, then I get to put this picture over here. Do we like that? Do we like that? I think I do. This is so fun. <laughs> this is like a crazy notebook right now. It's so fun though. This unicorn goes really, really cute with the whole setup now. Let's just flip through it really quick. See what we've got. See what we like. I like it a lot. Look at this is my favorite view. 
I think I like that for now. I wanted to use this fun kit. We'll change it up probably in a couple weeks again. But for now, this is really fun and really awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching me set this up. I am totally happy with it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Boop.